Welcome to the Wellness Abundance Podcast. I'm Melissa King, your podcast host, certified master health coach, certified personal trainer, and founder of Wellness Abundance Coaching. The purpose of this podcast is to share healthy lifestyle tips to empower you to design the abundant life you want and deserve. I'll chat with inspiring people who have built a strong foundation to build a life they love. I believe we all have the power within ourselves to create wellness abundance in all areas of our life. We simply need to find the courage within ourselves to take action. Our vision for this podcast is to help you create wellness abundance in your life with clarity, empowerment, and flexibility. Grab your favorite beverage and enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Wellness Abundance Podcast for 2024. It's been a while since we recorded an episode and uh, really life has just been happening. So I had to give myself permission to kind of uh, allow myself to get settled in the new year. We've made a lot of changes with the business and I. this is why I'm here today. I wanna to share the updates with you, the exciting updates. So I've been busy behind the scenes, just really doing a complete overhaul on my program. And I'm super excited about it and it's definitely been well worth the time and the effort and everything everything. It's been a little stressful, a little overwhelming at times, but I got to say it's been 100% worth it. We did go on vacation, which was so exciting, which I want to share with you in another episode. So stay tuned for that because I really feel like it's relevant. It's been coming up in coaching sessions with my clients. So I thought, why not chat about it on a podcast episode? So, but back to today's topic. So as I mentioned, I completely revamped my coaching program and I'm super excited about it because it, it just is more relevant to my personal experience and what I've learned from women that I talk to on a daily basis. And I'll dive into that more in a few minutes. Okay. So first of all, why did I up, update my program and do a revamp? First of all, I just want to be perfectly clear. If you have worked with me in the past, some of it is the same. There are the basic foundations like we need nutrition, proper nutrition, sleep, you know, adequate sleep, great sleep, amazing sleep, frequent movement, whatever that looks like for you, sunshine, you know, getting outdoors, getting the fresh air, you know, doing all that really great stuff, minimizing stress levels. So, All that is just basics. Those, those ideas, those philosophies will always be in my program, no matter what, because that's just like health and fitness 101, right? What I did to improve my program is I shifted the main focus to women's hormones. And this was amazing and so much fun for me. And The first reason why I decided to do a complete overhaul of my program and that it was time, first of all, because the videos we filmed, we filmed them about five years ago and I knew that they could be better. I'm always about doing better, being better. So, and I do this after, you know, basically on a daily basis in my life is just how could I do better? What did I do today that maybe wasn't really up to par? I was doing the best I can today, but what can I do different? What can I do better? Always really looking for growth opportunities. So, um, yeah. So about mm, two, three years ago, I started noticing, okay. So just full disclaimer, I just turned 43 this month, March 11th. So about two or three years ago, once I entered my forties, I kind of noticed some changes in my body with my cycle and all that. And I thought, well, I am in my forties now. Maybe this is just the beginning of the natural transition, you know, in midlife for women. 
And I was like, all right, but something wasn't really quite right. So one thing I noticed with my body was I would eat the exact same way throughout the month, you know, a somewhat low carb eating style, meaning I really ate, you know, uh, mostly non-starchy veggies, but I did eat starchy veggies because I love potatoes and I love fruit. So I was eating that way, but then certain times of the month, uh, I would naturally just lean up. I'd put on my clothes and they'd be a little looser. And then other times of the month, they would be a little tighter. And I was like, what is happening right now? I did take into consideration like bloating. Okay. Maybe is it that time of the month for me? Like, did I just start my cycle again? Am I feeling a little bloated? Am I feeling crampy? Am I just not feeling up to par? Have I not gotten a lot of sleep? Did I eat maybe a little too much salt? You know, sodium, I'm all for sodium. You know, our bodies need sodium, but too much of it is not good, just like with anything. So I was like, something's just not right. Like what's happening right now? Like my workouts were the same. My workouts are pretty consistent for the most part. I'm pretty good at knowing when to really give my body a rest day. For example, the day I'm recording this, I took a rest day. I am doing some yoga and mobility this afternoon, but other than that, I have not done a workout today because I've done three really intense workouts the last three days, short and intense. And I just thought, you know, today's a day just to do some yoga and mobility, stretching and all that good stuff. So that's my plan for today. So I'm pretty good at really like listening to my body. So I was like, well, I don't really think I'm overtraining because it could be that you're overtraining and, you know, your body's just not used to it and it's stress. Your cortisol levels are too high, but something wasn't, it was so like, it fluctuated so much my weight fluctuation. And that's, that's very common. That's normal. Okay. For your weight to fluctuate throughout the month. Um, a couple pounds. Okay. This was like significant. My little spidey senses, or if you've seen the Spider-Man movies, uh, my Peter Tingle was telling me that um, something I, that something wasn't quite right. So what I did is I took a deep dive into women's hormones. What I learned was that depending on where you are in your cycle, your hormones kind of go out of whack a little bit, not necessarily out of whack, but our hormones go up and down as we go through our menstrual cycle, right? As we go through our monthly hormonal cycle, and this is reproductive. I'll talk about like uh, menopause in a sec, but this is like when you're in your reproductive years and you're still having it, you still have a period. So um, our, our hormones change and you know, they fluctuate throughout the month, which is perfectly normal. You know, that's just the way our bodies are built and designed. What I learned was when your hormones are at certain levels, your body tends to be a little bit more insulin sensitive. And I dive really deep, pretty deep into this. I give you a really good basic understanding of this in my program. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail right now, but just for also time purposes, but your body tends to be become more insulin sensitive. What does that mean? So that means just very quickly, that your body is able to process like the starchy carbs, like fruits, bananas, you know, any breads, anything like that, any starchy carbs more efficiently. So your body just naturally kind of doesn't store them as fat. On the other hand, there are times when your hormones are at a certain level and your body does not know how to process these starchy carbs efficiently. It's very interesting to me. So what I learned when I did a deep dive into, okay, this is the time of, within my cycle that it's okay for me to eat more starchy carbs. And then this is the time in my cycle when maybe I should scale it back just a little bit. And then what I also learned is, you know, like when you're PMSing, when you're going through PMS at the end of your cycle, right before you're about to start again, you know, your body is just kind of like, ah, you may feel crampy, bloated, um, you know, mood swings, all that good stuff. 
I really learned more about really what to focus on for my eating cell, like more protein, more healthy fats, and less starchy carbs. Even though your body's craving it, you may want to steer clear of that. So again, I go into more detail about that in my program. And what I also learned was that it not only your body, the, these cycles and these hormone shifts throughout the month, not only affect like food, nutrition isn't the only thing that affects it. It's your fitness and your sleep. So for example, at the beginning of your cycle, you may really feel motivated to do, you know, some really intense workouts. That's because your body's ready for it. Depend where your hormone levels are at. Your body's ready. Like, yeah, bring it on. Let's do this. Let's get this girl. And then the second half of your cycle, you may be like, oh, I'm so tired. I need more sleep. My bot, your body just can't handle the intense workouts and that's okay. Okay. And, and that's what I learned. So I have spent the last two to three years really just experimenting with this with my body and learning what works best for me. So I was like, okay. And then actually I'll dive in real quickly about menopause. Menopause is a little different because your body really kind of stops producing a lot of the hormones. Not that you don't have any estrogen in your body because your ovaries, you know, aren't the only, that's not the only part of your body that produces estrogen, which I dive into this more in my program. So you'll learn more about it in my program. But um, there are things that you can do. There are ways that you could kind of adjust your eating style, your fitness, your sleep and everything to really make it align. So you don't have that midlife weight gain, or if you are experiencing the midlife weight gain, that you don't you don't, um, you're able to lose it, you know, effortlessly and efficiently. So there are ways that you can do this. So this is what I talk about in my program. So my program begins with first getting your head in the right place. You really want to get in a mindset of growth. So always, uh, being willing to learn and experiment and just really learning how to trust the process. And I got to say, this is something that I've struggled with for many, many years. I've always been frustrated and been <laughs> impatient with a lot of things in my life. And I've learned over the years that it's not really an effective way to live with really anything, any project that I'm working on. Um, and I, this is something I teach my clients is to really just be patient, learn how to relax and just trust the process and trust that what you're doing on a daily basis is right for you and trust that you know when to pivot, when to make adjustments, when to throw another workout in to your weekly schedule, when to kind of scale it back a little bit. You know, these are all things that I talk about with my clients during our coaching sessions. And then I go into really educating you about your hormones. Because what I found is that when my clients have a very basic understanding of what hormones do, like your hunger hormone, your satiety hormone, estrogen, progesterone, what all these hormones do in their body, what cortisol does, you know, the role of that, um, what they do, just having a basic understanding of them really helps them make better choices, right? Because we all want to make the best choices, but sometimes we're, we're thrown a lot of information our way and especially on the internet. You know, there's so many health and wellness professionals out there that, yes, they may say, oh, you need to do X, Y, Z to lose weight. Well, like, for example, you need to do keto or you need to do intermittent fasting. Well, that doesn't really work for everyone. Am I right? Any of you who have tried keto, tried intermittent fasting, and it didn't work for you, but you keep being fed this information that it works, it works, it works. Well, it's okay if it doesn't work for you because your, bo your body is not designed that way and that's okay. 
it works differently for everyone. Our bodies have the same basic systems in place, but they're all different, okay? I just wanna be perfectly clear with that. And that's one thing that I really focus on is after I educate you, after you learn about hormones in your body, um, I dive into kind of what your hormones do throughout your cycle, what your hormones do when you enter menopause, you know, when you stop having a cycle. I dive into all that just so you can have a better understanding of your body. Because what I found is as talk, talking to women over the years, so many women don't know what's happening in their body. I've had women tell me that they didn't know when they ovulate throughout their cycle. Spoiler alert, it's about halfway through. Um, but, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, wow, this needs to be talked about more. It needs to be talked about more. Women need to understand their bodies better so you can make the best decision for you on a daily basis. Um, okay, so I go into that, like what your body is doing, what your hormones are doing throughout your cycle. Now, just to be perfectly clear, so for example, for me, the first half of my cycle, I could eat more starchy carbs and be fine. I could actually even lean up a little bit, depending on what my workouts are, are what workouts I'm doing, if I eat more starchy carbs. The second half of my cycle, my body tends to hold on to those carbohydrates and store them more as fat, the second half of my cycle. It could be different for you. You could not really see much of an effect. But the reason why I feel like it's important to educate every woman about this is to really learn how your body works and how it operates. And also, some women thrive on keto. And that's amazing. And I love that. I think that's awesome. However, not every woman thrives on keto. I love my starchy carbs. I love my potatoes. I love having rice occasionally, but I don't have it all the time. But I also understand that um, the whole, the, once I also go into my food, you know, the food modules talking about which foods to embrace and which foods to avoid, it's always, you're always gonna wanna do your best to avoid the highly processed foods, okay? That's basically bottom line. I feel like every health and wellness professional can agree on that. So just avoid the super highly processed foods most of the time. However, my philosophy is also, if you wanna enjoy it, if it brings you joy occasionally, do it, okay? I love churros. Whenever we go to a Disney resort, I'm all about the churros, all about the churros. I have to have my churro and I love that. That's that's just who I am and I embrace it. Okay. And then after we talk about, you know, nutrition, I dive into fitness, like what you, how your body responds to specific workouts, strength training, high intensity interval training, low level cardio. And I also give you a template to kind of start from and then build upon that. And then we also offer 27 on demand fitness videos filmed by us here at Wellness Abundance Coaching. So I will be in there. And, and uh, so after I talk about the benefits of fitness and kind of teach you how to know when to kind of scale back your workouts a little bit and be like, mm, I think I'm good. I don't really need to work out today. I don't really feel like it. Maybe I'll just do some mobility like I'm doing today, some walking, something like that. And then I go into really uh, sleep, how important sleep is. Women tend to need more sleep than men. Not all women, just to be perfectly clear. Again, everyone's different. I definitely need more sleep than my husband. Scott can wake up at, wake up getting eight hours of sleep and be great, feel great during it throughout the day, have lots of energy to get him through the day. Me, on the other hand, nine maybe 10 hours of sleep is like my sweet spot. And um, yeah, so then I dive into sleep and the benefits of it too, because our bodies too, as women. So when you're, when you're, for example, when you're on your period, like and you're, you know, you're, you're bleeding and your hormones are, you're losing iron. So you may feel more fatigued, which is your body telling you to sleep more. So pay attention to that and do the best you can to get more sleep. 
Um, and then of course I dive into toxins in beauty products because here's the thing that a lot of women don't think about, especially women who want to have babies is that your beauty products can kind of disrupt your hormones and cause infertility. I know it's crazy, right? It's so sad, but thankfully you'll learn all about this, just the very basics of this. And then I will give you some recommendations for some cleaner, safer beauty products and uh, household products too, because they're in your they're in your cleaning products too. And I know you may already be aware of this because it really is all over the internet, all over social media, but it's really, this was really important for me to learn because I do work with women who are wanting to have babies and who are having fertility issues. So, and this is just one part of the equation, but it's a part of the equation, the fertility equation that could help you get pregnant or help you stay infertile. Okay. So, um, it's really could go either way. So this is why I felt like it was super important to add this brand new module into my program that's focused that focuses on women's hormones. And then of course I go into sunshine, being out in nature, you know, grounding, touching your bare feet to the earth, to the dirt, to sand, to grass, you know, really getting those negative ions, which I talk more about. You'll learn all about negative ions, which I know you may be like, I don't really care about negative ions, but you will because they are important. Um, and then also go into like, who are you surrounding yourself with? Who are your people? you know, connect with your people. You know, Scott and I always say that like, oh, yay, we're so excited to hang out with our people. We are very intentional with who we spend our time with and very grateful that we have such a strong support system with most of our family members, I say most, and then also our group of friends and also coworkers. Um, so, and then the last like the last, the tail end of my program is all about like how to continue this, how to really maintain these happy, healthy habit intentions after you and I are, have finished working together. Okay. And this is really important because I usually check in with my clients a couple months down the road and periodically after that just to see how they're doing, see if they need a little check-in coaching session. Um, and uh, yeah, because, and sometimes most of my clients are like, yeah, I'm great, I'm doing awesome. And other clients are like, oh my gosh, I had a death in the family. Um, I've been stressed out at work. My kids are driving me crazy. I went on vacation. All these things kind of throw them off track. So this is why I like to check in with them and really kind of, check in with them, but also, you know, kind of get ahead of it to help them create a strategy to maintain that after we stop working together, after I graduate them from my program. Um, okay. So right now there are two ways that you could get access to all this really cool information. The first one is, uh, the lower price point and it's group coaching. So I offer an eight week reset about three to four times a year, depending on what's happening in my life. And what this is, is you gain access to all these videos. It's broken up into eight weeks. You can go to my website, melissaking.net and go to work with me and eight week reset. And this will give you all the great details. Um, but you get access to all these, all these amazing videos, the 12 videos that I just mentioned. And we have one group coaching session each week. So eight total, there's 60 minutes. So what do we do on these group coaching calls? Well, we talk about whatever you wanna talk about. If you wanna talk about the videos, for example, the first week, if you wanna talk about how to really hone in and get crystal clear on your why, we'll talk about that. If you wanna just dive right into nutrition, We'll talk about nutrition. It's really all about you and whatever you want to talk about. I always have talking points. 
coming into these coaching sessions, but honestly, these coaching sessions are all about you and whatever you want to talk about. So that's the group coaching session. That's the eight week reset. And the next one starts March 31st. So the last day to enroll is Saturday, March 30th, which as of this recording is just over a week away. So there's not a lot of time to join um, for the next spring eight week reset. Um, and then the second way you can work with me is through one-on-one -on -one coaching. So during this program, you get 12 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. And how it works is you have up to six months to use the coaching sessions. Most of my clients have coaching sessions weekly. So week one, we'll have a coaching session. You'll gain access to the first module. And then each week after that, for up to 12 weeks, you'll gain access to one video. One video will unlock. And, um, and we'll meet weekly over Zoom. If you feel like one week you don't want to meet, you feel like you're like, you know, I got this. I think I'm on a roll. I want to just keep going and rolling with the punches. We just postpone it another week. You get sick. This happens. We all get sick sometimes. And uh, you go on vacation. This is a big one, especially this time of year. People are going on vacation. This is why I give you six months. I don't just compress it to a 12 week program. I've extended it to six months. So you have up to six months to utilize all your coaching sessions. After six months, they all expire. So, and one of the great things about this, my one-on-one -on -one program is you can join four group coaching for cohorts up to four within a 12 month period. If for some reason in that 12 month period, there's only three cohorts, I'll just tack on another one the following year. If you want to, it's not mandatory. However, I want to make sure as a one-on-one -on -one client, you gain, you really get like the best treatment. Okay. Because you've invested your time, and your money into this program and into improving your health that I want you to get the best out of it. I want you to get the best of both worlds, the best of one-on-one, -on -one, real personalized coaching, and then that support system with the group and learning from other people. So that's how my program is structured. You can enroll in one-on-one -on -one coaching at any time, given I don't have a full client roster. Um, so if I do have a full client roster and you want to join, I'll just pop you on the wait list and, uh, you could join, um, when a spot opens up. So as of right now, this recording, I do have a couple open spots available for a one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, so that's basically the gist of my program. Plus you get access to 27 on-demand fitness videos, which Oh, and you get access to the app. That's this app, my wellness or my, my coach app. And this, that's how you access the videos, all the videos, everything. That's how you reach out to me. You have daily action items that we could plug in there. We could personalize them. I can create a personalized fitness routine for you right in the app. So all you have to do every morning, open up the app and bam, you're all set. All right. So if you would like to learn more about how I can help you personally with your health and wellness intentions, whatever that looks like for you, whatever you're struggling with, PCOS, really painful periods, I can't diagnose anything. I can't guarantee that this will heal it. However, I can, I can help you create healthy lifestyle habits that are known to help with these issues. All right, so go visit melissaking.net in the upper right-hand corner, click on free consultation, and that's where you could schedule a time to book your free wellness strategy session. And that's it. I'm so excited to chat with you. You could always email me, melissa at wellnessabundancecoaching.com. All right, I'll see you in the next, on the next podcast episode. Bye. The Wellness Abundance Podcast is sponsored by Wellness Abundance Coaching. 
At Wellness Abundance Coaching, we help women lose weight effortlessly and minimize anxiety with clarity, empowerment, and flexibility. We offer one-on-one and group health coaching, corporate wellness programs, and on-demand fitness videos. To learn more about how we can help you become the healthiest version of yourself and to schedule a time to chat with us, visit melissaking.net.